Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video we're going to talk about doing a little bit of cleanup work to uh, the drawings that you make in Storyboard Pro. Okay, so I've got a rough sketch right here of a character, and I kind of have some ideas of where it could go. And I'm just really worried about, um, you know, getting the proportion right and the look and the feel of the character. I'm just searching. I'm not really committing to anything, and you know, if I wanted to, I could always drop the opacity and then I could just put a brand new layer on top of it and then I could really pick out the best lines, maybe with a darker color, pick out the best lines and keep it rough. Um, but whatever the case is, it's just like, you know, I'm using process and I'm trying to figure some stuff out. So one of the things that I wanna cover in this video is that you can pretty much build anything with a box um, with uh, Storyboard Pro, and this also goes for Harmony as well, but let's just focus on Storyboard Pro. So anyways, how do you build something with a box? And the main answer is, is you gotta use the contour editor. So let me just drop that opacity down, and I'm gonna go for this layer right here. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna start with maybe the polyline tool, and we'll also look at the rectangle tool. Okay, so let me just start with the rectangle tool. And I want to make sure I'm on the right layer. It looks like I have mine already set to fill shapes. So I'm just going to go and select that interior and delete it. Let me roll the mouse wheel up or down. So that way I can kind of zoom in. And then what I want to do is go ahead and use the white selection tool, which is a contour editor. And I can click each of the anchor points. I'm going to move this to the place that it needs to go. Okay, if I hold shift, um, with, the, with the contour editor selected. It will allow me to grab the actual side of the, uh, the box, but it's not gonna move the two anchor points that are right there. If I don't hold shift and I kind of move stuff around, sometimes the actual anchor point might move. So uh, just make sure that um, when you're doing this, you, you hold shift if that's what you wanna do because it'll give you a little bit more control over how the thing looks is a really good technique to use for cleanup work. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna click on this actual anchor point and with these two handles that pop out, I will uh, I'll engage them and get them to snap. So that way I get a little bit more graceful and connected curve. You can see there's a little direction change here. So I'm just gonna take this and snap it until it activates the other one. Click here, snap this one, and I'll do the same. Um, so once these are all set up and I'm feeling pretty good about the, the shape of what I did, then I can go and always go back to, to, get, another, um, to get another rectangle. But instead I want to show you a trick with the polyline tool. So the polyline tool works pretty much in the same way in that you, you kind of click on a point and you click on a point and then it makes a line for you. You go to the contour editor and again you, hold, you select it. And if you hold shift, it's going to keep those two points right there. If you don't hold shift, then it's going to do something else. Um, it's going to move those points. But at any rate, let's, let's move this guy over here. And what I'll do is I'll move these anchor points as well. And what I'm trying to do is to get this to, to go to the direction that I want. Okay, as you see, I only have two points right there and it's kind of, it's a little hard to, to manipulate this. So instead, what I'm gonna do is on a Mac, hold Command, and on a PC, I would um, press and I would hold Control, and I would click. And then what that does is it allows me to make a new anchor point, okay? So let's do the same techniques that we did a little while ago, where we select on the anchor points, and then you can drag the handles in a direction that you want. Select this anchor point, get those two to engage so both of them are a little connected and um, you can just kind of fine tune the artwork that you're making, okay? The last thing I'm gonna do is a tool called the cutter tool, and it's gonna slice off that piece right there. So if you click and hold um, underneath the selection tool, is you'll find the cutter tool. I'm just gonna go and engage that cutter tool, and I'm gonna swipe, and it's gonna cut off any excess that goes there. Let me just swipe right there as well. And then later I could just use a paint bucket tool and just go fill that and then next thing you know have a little bit of a clean up piece of line art so this one's not looking so pretty so let me just do this in real time and let's just use a nice rectangle and we can 
Let's try to build that inner eye, okay? So again, use the rectangle tool. Let's go to Contour Editor. I'm gonna go and click and move these pieces to where they need to be. Hold down the Shift key, drag, drag, drag. And then of course, the last thing I'll do is select the individual anchor points, get them to um, get in line and get engaged with each other. So I have a little bit more natural and graceful of a curve, okay? And then that's probably looking a little bit better. All right, so you can obviously do this for the rest of the character and it would take you a little bit of time, but the, uh, the payoff would be pretty good. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.